I feel like guys don't understand what we mean when we say we don't like mama's voice. We're not saying we don't like it when you love your mother. I hope you love your mother and I hope you respect her. If anything, that makes a man more attractive to me when I see he cares, loves, and respects his mother. But there's a very big difference between loving your mother and having a normal relationship with her and being a mama's boy. And don't get me wrong, I think daddy's girls are just as weird. We just don't condemn them because socially it's been normalized. Like imagine you can't buy something for your wife and she goes and calls up her father and says, Daddy, can you buy this for me? Or you can't fix a plumbing issue or some issue in the house because you're learning. And she goes and calls up her father and says, Daddy, can you come fix this for me? My husband can't. That's weird. It's no different than your wife trying to cook for you and you going and calling up your mom and asking her to make food for you instead of your wife. The difference between a mama's boy or a daddy's girl and somebody who just loves their parents is mama's boys and daddy's girls have an emotionally incestuous relationship with their parents. Their parents fundamentally lacked something in their marriage. In some aspect, they were not emotionally fulfilled by their spouse. So they have a son or a daughter and they start turning to them for those forms of emotional fulfillment. Take for example the viral video of a guy feeding his mom the cake on his wedding day before he fed his wife. Or another example of a woman that I personally know. Her husband knows that she loves this one certain restaurant. He went out one night to that restaurant, got food, brought food home to his mother but not to her, despite knowing that was her favorite restaurant. This is an example of an emotionally incestuous relationship. When you have a relationship with a family member, that form of love is very different from a relationship that you have with a romantic partner. And when it comes to emotional incest, those lines get blurred and boundaries are crossed. And the parent does not treat their offspring as a child, but as a romantic partner. And as the child grows, they can sometimes feed into that relationship. Hence why we have mama's boys and daddy's girls. And the biggest sign of this is when the parent becomes jealous of their child's romantic or sexual relationship. So with a mama's boy, it typically looks like the mother coming into the relationship and trying to control things, trying to position herself as if she is above her son's wife. And when it comes to daddy's girls, this typically looks like the father getting jealous when she has romantic or sexual interactions. It is actually not normal for a father to be so obsessed with his daughter's romantic or sexual life. Also, this kind of leads into another thing that I think is super weird and not talked about. And I noticed this doesn't really happen within South Asian, Middle Eastern, North African family or African families in general because we do have some of the strongest family structures. But I've noticed it happens a lot with more Western families where the daughter or son will get jealous of the romantic affection that one of their parents is displaying to the other. Take for example a video I saw of this daughter getting jealous of her mom kissing her father and being romantically intimate with him and saying no he's mine, this is my man, this is my baby using romantic terms that are often exchanged between the mother and the father and this is how it usually starts off. I guarantee you that daughter is probably going to end up being like a daddy's girl. Don't get me wrong, the little girl's completely innocent she doesn't understand the complexity of romance or intimacy but rather than the mother or father drawing a boundary and making it clear that this is shared between us because we are romantic partner they laugh it off and encourage it and this is exactly what leads to those dynamics parents that don't know when to draw a line that is not normal i have never looked at my father and remotely perceived him as a romantic partner even when i was like three years old i was never like oh i'm gonna marry my dad when i grow up like no i understood that that's my father because my parents made it clear to me what the concept of marriage was and what the concept of romantic relationships were. They drew a boundary. I never called my father the romantic terms that he shared with my mother. It's just not normal. It's not healthy. Being a mama's boy or a daddy's girl is not normal.